Hi, this is Nick Haraz of Creative 111 here with Boris Effects to bring you a very exciting tutorial on working with VR units inside of Avid Media Composer. The immersive 360 VR video market continues to grow with more outlets for viewing spherical video and affordable new 360 as well as 180 cameras coming to the market regularly. 360 video content is found on all different types of mainstream portals. YouTube, Facebook, The New York Times, and CNN. And with this runs the gamut from narrative entertainment, broadcast journalism, all the way to live sporting events, and much, much more. Editing and finishing 360 VR video requires specialized tools to help the process of being able to see spherical video formats, as well as insert flat graphics into our projects. And in Avid Media Composer, there are no native tools to deal with 360 VR video. This is where Continuum's VR units come into play. We're gonna take a look at two of the filters that are contained in those units, both BCC VR Reorients, as well as VR Insert. I've got a custom project that is two to one in front of me, meant for spherical video. And the first thing I'll draw your attention to is in the composer window, the strange look at this video. It is of an equirectangular format. And ideally, this clip is meant to be wrapped around our sphere. Now, natively inside of Media Composer, there is no way to view that content on a sphere. And one thing we can do is use a filter from the VR units and apply it to our spherical clip. So here I have a done a search under my filters for VR, and I've found that my five filters under the BCC VR category. I wanna drag my VR reorients to the meditate clip on my timeline. And I have a variety of options to number one, reorient scene in 360 space. And this is to guide what I want the viewer to look at inside a head mounted display. Well, I do have the options to pan this image across to guide the user's attention, let's say, to the sunrise in the background. I could also choose to just preview inside this effect how someone is going to see this footage. To do that, I'm going to go into the view mode. I'm gonna to choose to preview this clip. And you'll notice that under the preview are some controls, what's around the sphere, left and right, as well as being able to see the top and the bottom of my sphere. This can just give me a really good sense for how this footage is going to play back on, play back through a head mounted display or on social media when someone uses their phone. Ideally, I can simply switch back to my VR view mode full to be able to see my full echo rectangular image. And based on what I saw in the view mode, start to change using my pan, tilt and roll what the viewer will see right when we cut to the shot. So these tools can be extremely helpful, not to mention additional overlays available in the overlay section for picture in picture mode. So what I can do is a picture in picture mode to reveal this image in the top left corner, my echo rectangular image. And then also in my view mode, have a preview. And while I'm previewing my 360 content, I get a overall map of what's contained in my 360 captured image. I'm gonna turn off preview mode and just go back to full. There's a variety of sources you can use inside your VR reorient, not just for monoscopic material, but for stereoscopic as well. And if you're working in 180 degrees or have 180 degree camera, you can also change the import horizontal field of view. An overall great effect to getting oriented inside 360 space, and as well as using various overlays, such as overlay guides, to guide you around what the user is going to see as you cut from one 360 shot to another. I'm gonna to come to my timeline, select my meditate clip, and remove the VR reorient. Now what happens if I want to insert a flat graphic into my 360 spherical scene? On my V2 track, I have just a thing, my flat PSD graphic here, which I'd like to put inside my spherical scene. And for this, I'm gonna use the VR insert filter. I'm gonna select it and apply it to the graphic. And while it looks strange for a second, I'm gonna to go to my effect editor and make a couple changes. First of all, I'm gonna make sure that it identifies this as a title map. You can see here that my background is that's being used is my meditate clip below. 
And in order to set this up correctly, I want to make sure that it's not using the insert layer as a source from below, but using the filter layer. And once this is set up, I will go just underneath my insert parameters and change my insert apply mode from normal to replace. Now I'm able to change this graphic and set it up inside my sphere. First of all, what I can do is change the latitude for where this logo is gonna show up. Let's say I want it to happen on the top part of the sphere, as well as change the longitude to have it maybe on the top left-hand corner. Now let me just undo those last few steps. There's one other very important tool inside my insert tool, and that is the ability to repeat this graphic in multiple locations inside my sphere. With this graphic here is choose to change the insert repeat from off to four sides. And now you can see that it's repeated on four sides of the sphere. And instead I'm also change that to now all sides of the sphere. You'll notice that not only is it repeated four times in my shot, but also on the top, if I choose the composer window temporarily on the bottom of my sphere. I can choose now to just use it as front and back. And I still have the ability to play around with the latitude and longitude of where this graphic is located. And no matter where someone is viewing my 360 content, I can rest assured that they're gonna be able to see that logo inside there. Don't forget to download the Continuum VR units today and also follow Boris Effects on all social media channels. I'm Nick Ross from Creative 111. Thanks for watching.